Hey everyone, it's Flag Fire, still under the weather, but uh, the day many felt inevitable has actually arrived. Electronic Arts just made the announcement that Battlefield 2042 has been delayed. Thankfully, it won't be that long of a wait. Mark your calendars for November 19th. That's the new worldwide release date for Battlefield 2042. The delay gives developers an extra month or so to work on the game prior to its launch. The official statement from DICE CEO Oscar Gabrielson outlines a few reasons for the shift in the release date. Now, it reads, quote, Building the next generation of Battlefield during a global pandemic has created unforeseen challenges for our development teams. Given the scale and scope of the game, we had hoped our teams would be back in our studios together as we move towards launch. With the ongoing conditions not allowing that to happen safely, and with all of the hard work the teams are doing from home, we feel it is important to take the extra time to deliver on the vision of Battlefield 2042 for our players. Your enthusiasm for the game has been very inspiring. We believe in the game we're making, and we thank you for your patience as we put some finishing touches into the experience." End quote. For fans excited to get their hands on the game next month, this will undoubtedly be a bit of a gut kick. It's also somewhat surprising given EA's communication up to this point. The delay comes just seven months after EA Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen praised the Battlefield development team, claiming they were, quote, way ahead of where they were in prior product cycles and on track for their earliest feature complete in franchise history, end quote. Clearly, there was some trouble at the finish line. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, but honestly, to me, not entirely surprising, right? The Battlefield development team working with content from at least four different studios. This includes a massive upgrade to the core Frostbite game engine, and I would imagine that managing all of that in an unpredictable work environment caused by a global pandemic would probably throw a wrench in even the most efficient of workflows. We also don't know if the hack and source code theft earlier this year adversely impacted development. Similarly, developers are reportedly working on two core versions of the game, right? We've got the one for the next-gen console systems and PC, as well as a different version for last-gen tech in the PS4 and Xbox One. Many fans were hopeful that the lack of a campaign would allow developers to focus on the game's multiplayer and kind of get all their ducks in a row, but it looks like that hasn't been the case. The writing was also on the walls in other ways that a delay was coming. Aside from the increased silence on social media channels, the technical test scheduled for earlier this year was canned, and there were rumors that the game's open beta had been pushed back. Running a beta so close to release wouldn't provide developers much time, if any, to address problems that were identified. We still don't have an official date for the Battlefield 2042 beta, but developers promise to provide an update on the status of the beta later this month. With it already halfway through September, I'd say it's likely the beta has now been pushed into October. Based on the information from DICE and EA, the delay is supposed to give developers more time to polish Battlefield 2042. Several developers took to Twitter after the announcement to underscore their resolve in putting out a solid product. And I totally understand if some of you see Deja Vu with the botched release of Battlefield 5, but uh, personally, I feel Battlefield 2042 is in a better place than its predecessor, at least in terms of having a clear focus and scope. Perhaps the game just truly needs a little bit more technical polish, we'll know in November, but until then, I strongly advise you to hold off on pre-ordering the game. I think at this point, too many unknowns. We need to see more. We need to hear more from DICE about what's going on. And uh, I also think that we're too quick to forget the launch of Battlefield 5, right? You remember all of the delays, the fragmentation, the cut content, and that lack of a robust live service. Remember that EA and DICE need to earn your trust here, and they didn't deliver with Battlefield 5. I desperately want Battlefield 2042 to succeed, and I absolutely will be cheering on the devs every step of the way. They really got to nail this one to win back some goodwill, so I wish them the best of luck here. I'd rather have a game delayed and released in good shape rather than a broken one released on time, but 
that's me. I'm curious what you think. Make sure to tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell for the latest updates on Battlefield 2042, including release and the beta, and whatever else happens between now and then. But uh, if you want to support the channel, keep your money, share this video, and as always, thanks for watching.